Hello. Getting organised, there we are. Okay, just a um, last little bit about mindfulness, really. Unless you've got any questions or whatever, then put them in the comments. Um, hello, Boats. You okay? You want to go out and play VAWL in a minute? I know you do. Glorious day. So, just to kind of finish off, really, what I have been saying in the last couple of videos about mindfulness. Can you get on your couch for a minute, please? Please, thank you. Just lay down for a minute, and I'll take out in a minute. Lay down. Okay, if you're the sort of person that you fly off the handle, um, at quite small things, if you're the type of person that you end up closing down in some way, um, what I mean by that is irrational thinking when there's quite a big thing going on. You end up, oh my God, this has happened and that's happened and I can't cope and like that. You know, if either of those is you, if you're honest, then you need to do mindfulness practice. Now, I mentioned practice in the last video and it is a practice. What we practice grows, particularly with the mind. Um, the brain is a way of growing like a muscle, actually. And the more positivity that we put in our brain, the more positivity is there, will be there, will grow, and will emerge from you as a person. Likewise, with negativity, you give yourself a load of negative thoughts all day long. And you have quite a bad day, really, and um, your brain learns these things, you know. Learns to be... A little bit upbeat, a little bit positive, a little bit forward thinking, and a little bit settled, a little bit calm, a little bit wise. It learns all that, but it can also learn all the other side. You know, being a bit depressed, a bit down, a bit moody. You know, nothing's going right in my life. I can't cope. I wish I had that. I wish I had this. My life's a bit rubbish. And what we tell ourselves, you know, it works. It manifests. It, it it's the whole of our being. It's as simple as that. And this is where mindfulness practice comes into um, fruition, really. You know, So mindfulness itself, I've explained, it's very, very simple. It's just about bringing yourself back to the now and just being aware that you are where you need to be. You are right where you need to be right now. You don't need a million thoughts in your head. You don't need to look back, look forward, think about the past, all the rest of it. Because ultimately, our thoughts, what they do, they actually create suffering. That's what they do. We think about the past, and often we don't think, oh, I remember when I was five and I was running through the meadow. I remember my first butterfly landing on my hands. We don't think those sort of things from the past. We remember the bad points. That's what we do. And it creates a form of suffering. And also looking forward, we end up somewhere in the future. We worry. Um, you know, somebody who's 25 thinks, oh, I haven't got kids yet. Oh, I'm not even married. Oh. And they go on and on and on. And that creates a suffering within them. Or people worry, will I ever pay the mortgage off? When will I be able to retire? I'm getting ill. I'm getting old. You know, again, it's a form of suffering. So whether you're looking forward, whether you're looking back, whatever you're doing, you're creating your own suffering. And it's you and your thoughts are creating that. By mindfulness practice, and as I say, what you practice grows. By doing that fairly often, once a day if you can, you know, once a week if you haven't got time. Of course you've got time, but um, I try and do it I don't know, three, four, five, ten times a day. Um, because I've been doing it for years, it's just one breath, one or two breaths, that's all. And I just bring myself, close myself down, bring myself to now, and feel much more settled. That's how mindfulness works. So therefore, I don't need thoughts in my head. I, I certainly don't need to create suffering in my life. I don't need to look back. I don't need to look forward. I'm not living back there. And I'm not living forward there. That's been lived. 
I can't do anything about it. That doesn't exist. I can't live there. can't do anything about it. It's not real. It's just a collection of thoughts. It doesn't exist. The only time that exists is here, right now. This is why meditation is very, very important. Mindfulness meditation, putting yourself just here, right now, is very, very important. Very, very important. If you want to remain calm in any situation, most situations, it's all right to be angry sometimes, you know. We don't live in, an, in a perfect world, do we? It's all right to be a bit fed up. It's a bit all right to be um, whatever you are, you know. All these emotions and what have you, it's absolutely fine. It's how we deal with these emotions that are not fine. You know, you can have a set of circumstances happen in the day. Your car doesn't start. You get to work late. You're a bit flustered. You've missed an important phone call. You go and phone somebody. He's now left the office. You've got to chase him up and it goes on and on. You know, and then you make a quick cup of coffee and you pour it down your shirt. Whatever it may be. And it can be an awful day. Okay, it is an awful day really. On the surface it's an awful day. But bring yourself back to the now. Where you're calm. Where you're peaceful. Okay, you can't control the car not starting. It happened. It's fact. So what? You got to work a little bit late. You lived. You're alive. You know, you missed a phone call. That's right. You catch him later. No problem. You've thrown coffee all down your shirt. Well, so be it. Soak it off with a bit of water. If it stains, it stains. Sling it in the bin. If it doesn't, wash it out. Tomorrow's a different day. Makes no difference. Try not to worry too much about most things and by practicing mindfulness you'll find that you don't worry very much really because there's not actually very much to worry about again by being in the now there's actually very very little to worry about probably nothing to worry about if you're present here right now and that is the beauty of mindfulness really as I say, what you focus on in your head, that grows. So it's up to you what you want to focus on, the good or the bad. If you're suffering, and we're all suffering, carry on suffering if that's really how you want to be. But I don't think it is. And if you want some clarity of mind, if you want some peace, if you want to sleep a little bit better, if you want to feel just calm, if you want to feel relaxed and happy and bubbly, if you want to experience things like just the beauty of nature, you know, seeing a bumblebee or a cloud in the now is a beautiful, wonderful experience. And so many people miss it. They look up, you'll say, look at that cloud, isn't it beautiful? And they say, yeah, but they're, they're thinking of so much in their head. As they look down, if you say, what color is the cloud? They say, why they've got to look again they haven't got a clue you know and it really is mindfulness practice is to bring yourself back to the now and allow now to be very very important to you so if somebody says wow look at that cloud be in the now wow yeah what a beautiful cloud beautiful white fluffy its underbelly is kind of grey with mixed with blue. It's got three big lumps on. Wow. Blue sky all the way round. Yeah. Beautiful. Right now. You can only experience that. The true beauty of that by being completely in the now. Um there are lots of videos about mindfulness and mind mindfulness meditation and all I would do is encourage you really to watch a bunch of videos and then see what works for you really but find your own way through um, there is a lot of rubbish out there I won't tell you rubbish but there's a lot of old crap saying you must sit with a dead straight back shoulders dropped head slightly bowed put your hands in a certain way Take three deep breaths, hold them for 15 seconds, blow out for nine, but on the top breath, hold for, you know, all this rubbish. 
Do you need to do that? No, you don't. What you need to do is simply close your eyes, breathe in and breathe out. That's it. Just concentrate just gently on your breath. Just gently. And as thoughts flow in, yeah, acknowledge them, let them go. Not important. Back to the breath. The breath is the most important thing. It doesn't matter about the thoughts. Let them go. Because you don't need them for now. You can deal with them later, but now is your time. Now. That is mindfulness. In a nutshell, really. Anyway, I'll shut up because I banged on too much about mindfulness, really. Um, but thank you. I wrote your name down. I can't remember. Oh, Sue Taylor asked the question. Well, it wasn't a question. She just said, could you tell us something about mindfulness, I think. So, yeah, I've told you a little bit about mindfulness. Um, if you want to know any more, you know, drop me a comment or whatever. If not, we'll move on. But try. Practice. What you practice grows. Remember that. What you practice grows. In fact, your thoughts grow. The negative thoughts will grow. The positive thoughts will grow. And it's up to you. You know, you either have your mind in control of you or you have yourself in control of your mind and you've got the option you've got the option if you just sit quietly and allow these thoughts to come and go just get rid of them push them away because you don't need them and just concentrate on your breath okay that is you in charge or in control of your own mind surely you should be in your own mind you know, we miss out on life. We miss out on a lot of life. As I say, look at that cloud. And somebody's thinking about the past, thinking about the future, worrying about this, thinking about that, allowing this thought to come in. They're not in the present moment. They're not witnessing the beauty of what is here right now. Okay, take care and be well. Try and be beautiful.